Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Mandeep Warach, and I'm the head of product for industrial AI in Google's cloud business. I lead a portfolio of artificial intelligence products that help solve some of the most complex and hard industrial problems at global scale. Today, I'm going to talk about three things. First, the current state of automation and industrial efficiency and how artificial intelligence is revealing an entirely new universe of possibilities. Second, Google Cloud's approach to bringing these AI technologies to the market. And third, our Deploy Anywhere methodology that helps achieve the impact of AI at a global enterprise scale. Let me first begin by sharing how we are approaching our strategy to help industrial enterprise customers transform themselves. So our strategy hinges on three pillars. First is to provide tools and technologies to connect your physical assets and workforce to the cloud. Second is to bring both your existing analytics tools and new analytics capabilities that augment human decision making. And third, to drive end-to-end -end automation of key industrial processes by embedding our differentiated AI technologies into the industrial workflows. As part of this session, I'll focus only on our AI capabilities. We are applying AI to help some of the largest enterprise companies transform their businesses. We're helping the largest airlines better plan their schedules, aircraft utilization, and manage unforeseen operational disruptions. We're helping logistic companies achieve better fleet utilization, route planning, and maximize the life of their assets. We're helping automotive companies bring their vehicle telemetry data to the cloud and preempt component failure and recalls in real time. We'll be discussing two manufacturing-focused solutions, adaptive controls and visual inspection, in more detail in this session. Here are some of the companies that are trusting Google to transform their industrial operations and businesses using AI and machine learning technologies. Before I get into the details of AI technologies, I want to take a brief talk about where we are in the broader industrial automation evolution. For decades, advances in automated controls and systems have made industrial processes and supply chains highly efficient. But every subsequent advance in efficiency has demanded greater investment while yielding leaner returns to a point of flattening of the curve. The staggering complexity of the industrial environment is now combined with a dynamic and uncertain environment like the one we're finding ourselves right now, where there's dramatic volatility in market forces, disrupted supply chains and retail channels, uncertainty of demand, and cost pressures to stay afloat. The current industrial systems are turning out too brittle and unadaptable, narrow in their search for efficiency gains with years of systemized rules and heuristics, layers of operational buffers, and inefficiencies capped and accrued by human expertise. These constraints make industrial systems a great candidate for AI and machine learning-based solutions. For machine learning-based systems, each layer of complexity is another dimension to explore for hidden correlations, allowing every aspect of an industrial environment to be analyzed minutely, temporally, and combinatorially, individually, and holistically, exploring new action spaces and uncovering unfound efficiency gains. These systems can adapt to internal and external headwinds and learn to anticipate disruptions allowing stable autonomous operation. We'll talk through two such examples of autonomous controls technology, adaptive controls and visual inspection AI, both aimed at achieving autonomous process controls in industrial facilities. Let's first talk about industrial adaptive controls platform that automates and optimizes closed loop industrial systems like the HVAC systems or SCADA controlled processing plants. This platform builds on years of Google's research in reinforcement learning, where an AI agent learns directly from sensory experience and develops new knowledge by exploring the action space and then optimizes based on the most efficient future predicted state. 
with no handcrafted rules, a general purpose learning framework, and general APIs to take in sensory input and produce set point recommendations, this platform is capable to solve several industrial optimization problems. It turns out that operating a data center with concrete actions and measurable rewards is a great fit for such a problem. Modern data centers, especially the large ones at Google, are complex pieces of equipment with billions of ways of operating them. For example, suppose you have a simplified system with 10 pieces of equipment, each which has 10 different set points. That's already over 3 million different permutations. Keep in mind that a real data center has much more than 10 pieces of equipment. They interact with each other in nonlinear manners, while environmental conditions such as IT load and weather are constantly changing. Adaptive Control's platform has been helping reduce energy consumption in Google data centers through direct autonomous control of HVAC systems. So how does this work? AI optimizes a reward function. This could be energy consumption or any other function expressed as a mathematical equation of sensors, while adapting to the changing variables like the building load, and still keep meeting operational constraints like building comfort. For example, in the data center scenario, the AI evaluates millions of allowable set point combinations predicts future states of energy consumption and operational constraints, removes those that violate equipment or safety constraints, chooses the set points that maximizes the objective function, returns the recommended set points into a BMS platform to be implemented directly into the equipment. The generalizability of this platform allows a number of industrial processes and facilities optimization problems to be solved using this approach. Imagine the impact that this could have on the global energy use in airports, malls, corporate buildings, waste reduction in chemical plants, smelters, metal processing facilities, all while achieving higher industrial output. Another problem space where we are applying Google's AI capabilities is industrial defect detection. Google's computer vision capabilities are consistently rated as the best in the industry. We've made these vision AI capabilities available through our general APIs that use pre-trained machine learning models trained on billions of images, and through AutoML platform, where you can bring your own image data sets to train custom vision models. Now, we're taking this one step further. We are partnering with some of the largest manufacturers of the world to bring high accuracy Prima models for defect detection, starting with assembly inspection and cosmetic inspection in an end-to-end -end automated solution. We've created a dedicated breakout session to cover the technical breakthroughs of this technology, delivered by one of my teammates, Ying Fei. Please do check it out. LG has applied our machine learning models to achieve 99.9 .9 accuracy for cosmetic defect detection in their glass display panels. Similarly, global foundries have used our machine learning models for silicon wafer defect detection, achieving 95% accuracy across hundreds of machine learning models deployed in their factories. Which makes for a good segue into our final topic, of scaling AI at a global industrial scale. It's one thing running a pilot on a small subsystem in a sandbox, and it's a completely different thing transforming an entire industrial workflow to run autonomously using AI. Working across multiple AI products, use cases, and deployment environments, we've honed the approach of deploying AI at a large scale. We've come to embrace that the real world environments are highly complex, heterogeneous, unstructured, and fragmented. This reality has made us design a deploy anywhere approach for machine learning. Our goal is to provide interoperability across all computing platforms, legacy systems and devices from cloud hybrid to edge, from microcontrollers CPUs, GPUs, TPUs, to clusters of servers, industrial equipment like high-speed cameras and drones, 
and hardware supporting MQTT and OPC UA industrial standards. In working with the largest enterprise customers, we've seen the challenge of managing hundreds of machine learning models in production environment. Therefore, we developed managed services that allow any kind of machine learning workload, be it a time series, an image, or a video machine learning model to be deployed on any kind of edge device. These services allow you to version control, monitor performance, and retrain models across a large fleet of edge devices. You can learn more about these deployment platforms in their dedicated breakout sessions. You can also connect with any of our machine learning specialists or contact us through our website to get started. Finally, I feel excited that AI as a discipline has reached a stage where it's having a direct and measurable impact on scaling our collective human output. Our technologies are truly living up to their promise of furthering our progress as a society and creating a more promising future. Thank you once again for joining, and I hope you'll enjoy the other next sessions. Have a great day.